Hi folks, this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, looking a bit dapper today. Your creative caricature marketing consultant. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, who to sell to when you're doing caricatures outdoors. Uh, whether at um, a craft fair or just doing retail out on the street. Who to sell to now. You know, I have one of my um, students to thank. Uh, her name is Deb. How you doing, Deb? <laughs> uh, she kind of, she, she asked a question. She's starting, you know, um, a new gig. You know, she's asking a lot of great questions. I'm not going to answer all of them here because it's her question. But, you know, I, I, she, she prompted me to answer a question about, you know, what do you bring on your first gig? How do you present yourself? And I began to think back when I first started doing caricatures on the street. Here's a typical scenario. A guy and a girl will pass by, you know, and the girl will usually look at the caricatures kind of hesitant, hesitantly. The guy will always, always, always want the caricature done. Even if you have, especially if you have wild samples up there, the guy will always want it done. Come on, baby, let's do this. They'll be very excited about it. But I noticed that, especially if you are a person who likes to exaggerate, usually the girl will be a little hesitant to do it. Let's face it. Ladies are vain. Ladies, I love you, but you're vain. <laughs> it's just a fact of life. You know, and while the guy might not want to, well, won't mind looking a little ridiculous, understanding the fun in it, you know, girls, mm, they usually don't like it too much. Although there are exceptions, and I love the women who are exceptions, but again, I digress. So, I used to get mad at the girls. I really got mad at them because it seemed like the guy wanted to do it, and no matter what, how much I catered to the guy, because I thought the guys had the money. I would always cater to the guy. Come on, man, you let's do the caricature. And he would be down for doing it. And the girl would usually, nine out of ten times, drag the guy away. Here's what I learned the hard way. But I learned it. And when I learned it, I started to make more money. You've got to cater to the girl with couples. Here's the psychology of it. The guy is out with the girl. He likes the girl. He wants to impress the girl. He wants to be romantic with the girl. Any other thing. So it's all about the girl on the date. It's not about him. If he was with his buddies or by himself, he would definitely do it. So it's because it's, now it's all about the girl. And he's going to do whatever he has to do to please the girl. No matter how much he wants that caricature, he's not going to get it unless she's satisfied, unless she really, really wants it, okay? So when you are selling out on the street, cater to the girl, talk to the girl, tell the girl how beautiful you're going to make her look, show her samples of how you've made other women look beautiful. What I usually do, I will have samples where the girl looks absolutely drop-dead gorgeous, and the guy looks goofy. <laughs> that way, I satisfy both customers. The guy gets his goofy, exaggerated-looking caricature of himself, and the girl looks gorgeous, all because I sold to the girl and not to the guy. And that's what you got to do. When you have a couple, always sell the girl. If you sell the girl, you're going to get the caricature. And you're going to get twice the money that um, you normally would get if you try to sell the guy. That's the tip. Use that, and you'll make buku dollars. I know I did. This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant. And hey, did you notice? We got the white hat, we got the white shirt, and we even got the white goatee. I'm styling. Ha, later.